All right, fifth grade. Today we're going to be looking at our third math lesson of the week. We're still working with the same ideas yesterday. Adding two mixed numbers with unlike denominators. But now we're going to have to do something called regrouping. Okay, so some of them are going to have to regroup. Yesterday none of them did. And of course, we always have to simplify. All right, let's jump into the first example so you see what I mean. I have 38 and 2 thirds. Add that to 21 and 3 fourths. All right. Now, hmm, here's the trouble. 3 and 4. Can I change a 3 into a 4? No. Can I change a 4 into a 3? No. So instead I need to change them both. Addition sign, equal bar. Hmm, what could I change them both to? Well, do they both fit inside of 12? Yes, they do. 3 times 4 equals 12. What's 2 times 4? 8. Good. 4 times what equals 12? 4 times 3. 3 times 3 equals 9. And you can bring those whole numbers right over 38. 21. Okay, now let's add them together. Remember, now that I've already changed the denominator, I leave it when I add 12. Now 8 plus 9 gets me 17. 38 plus 21 gets me 59. So now we have to do the thing that I called regrouping. We have to regroup because 17 is bigger than 12. Well, to regroup, what do I do? You know what to do. We follow that same formula of numerator over denominator equals numerator in the box, denominator outside of the box, your quotient is your whole number, your remainder is your new numerator. And then, as a mixed number, it looks like this. Whole number, numerator over denominator. Remember, that's something we got to have memorized in order to do subtraction successfully. All right, so let's put them in the box. Which one should go in the box? Very good. 17 does. 12 goes outside of the box. 17 divided by 12 equals 1. 1 times 12 is 12. 17 subtract 12 is 5. So I got 1 remainder 5. Okay, now, so I've got 1 and 5 twelfths. But remember, I've got to add this one whole to the 59. What's 59 plus 1? Very good, that's 60. And now I have the remainder 5 on the top. 12 is still my denominator. Can I simplify it? No, because 5 is prime. So, lots of steps here. 1, 2, 3. To get my answer of 60 and 5 twelfths. Now let's put that into practice with one more example.